Hi, my name is Yasu from Japan, and in my video, I drink and introduce sake in both Japanese and English, and I try to encourage people, both Japanese and foreigners, to drink more sake because sake is good. And also, like, okay, I've seen so many information, data, news about. Japanese people have stopped drinking sake, and I really feel sad because I personally enjoy drinking sake. And if people drink more sake, more money for those sake breweries, and they would actually have more money to do R and D to make better sake, more tasty, delicious sake. So I'm hoping to contribute to that one, to that. And when I drink sake, I talk something about Japan in English to share with you guys what's really going on here.、Um, so let's see. Today I'm drinking、um, sake from Ishikawa Prefectures.、Um, it's right next to. I forgot the name of the sea. Like. Pacific Ocean here. This one was like something I forgot. But Kanazawa Kanazawa City is right there, and you should really go to Kanazawa. It's really it's it's really fun, beautiful, and food is delicious. Anyway, so yeah, I'm drinking sake from Ishikawa Prefectures. The name of sake is Sogem. The sake brewery is Sogen Shuzo. It's Jumai Ginjo, ah、uh, Jumai Dai Ginjo. So let's see how this sake is gonna taste like. And as always, I drink Japanese sake from my favorite Japanese sake glass from Kagami Crystal. It's the company that produces a lot of special glass, and this one is the. Japanese glass. So cheers. The first way smell. It's a very nice, good rice smell. It's really good. Bit sweety. Um, no. Bit sweet, but not fruity. So I, I'm guessing that it's a sweetness of the rice that they use to make this sake. They don't really use. Oh yeah, they they actually use Yamada Nishiki. Oh no wonder. So Yamada Nishiki is one of the most popular、uh, rice sake that sake breweries usually use to make the best sake. A new flavor is. Juicy, sweet, but sweetness of the rice. Really rich light rice flavor, and I cannot believe this is Jumai Dai Ginjo. Ah, <sighs> so good. Yeah, whenever I drink. I become happier. Oh well, like I I I keep uploading a lot of like you know videos that drinking sake, and my friends keep asking me, what is going on with you, Yasu? Are you did you become are you becoming an alcoholic? I don't know. But one thing, I only drink. Twice a week. That's it. Usually Wednesday and then Saturday. Basically, that's it. Cause like personally, I really hate being drunk. I I really don't like the feeling. <sighs> anyway, so if you ever wonder、uh, which sake you should try, I recommend 
um, Soul Gang from Ishika Prefectures. And if you drink, you know, Soul Gang, that means you support Ishika Prefectures. Ishika Prefectures, you know, they only have like 1.1 million Jap, no, 1.1 people. The populations, they're losing people still. Um, compared to last March first, they have lost around ten seven thousand people, and you might heard that you know this country Japan is really facing the population declining issues. So please drink sake and help Ishikawa prefectures. Anyway, so here's the thing. <laughs> Um, have you guys ever heard of Senbazuru? Direct translation of Senbazuru in English is 1000 origami cranes. What that means is that in Japan, if, if something very unfortunate event you know, takes place and then people wanted to show the support and everything, they would send Senbazuru. 1,000 of origami cranes. They fold origami and make a crane, and they, they make 1,000 cranes, and they make it like certain style, and they send it to those people or area and it's showing that or oh, we are sending Senbazu, Senbazuru we are supporting you guys this time uh, that become one of the um, social arguments which is very interesting so here's the thing the people say that oh that's so stupid you guys don't think about so here's the thing so because of the Ukraine situations, um, certain number of people actually send Senbazuru, 1,000 origami cranes to Ukraine to show the support of those people in Japan. That all, oh, Ukraine people, we are here to support you. And in this country right now, the social, the opinion is divided into two. One of them is that, okay, think. The Ukraine people in Ukraine, they are suffering from the uh, attack by the Russian militaries and everything. And they become a refugee and they need a lot of food, water, medical supplies and supplies and everything. If you would send 1,000 origami cranes there why don't you send food or medicine or like even send the money to them because that's what they really need if you if you send 1000 origami cranes then what 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 would they do with it if they're hungry they cannot eat if they need a water they cannot really drink origami if they need a medicine, of course, origami does nothing. Another group of people in Japan say that it shows my heart, our heart, like how much we put energy and efforts and show that how much we care about Ukraine people. So this is our way to show our support to Ukraine and Ukraine people. And they begin like kind of attacking each other, arguing with, is with each other. And it's really interesting to see that most of the media, including like the television media, online media, talk about that thing. And from my perspective, what's lacking is what would people in Ukraine actually feel about it? Do they feel that, okay, we really appreciate 
this uh, origami cranes. Um, we are attached. We are touched. We appreciate your support. Please stand with us. Or would they feel that in reality that okay, it's very nice of you, Japanese people, send one thousand uh, origami cranes. I understand that's your traditions. However, we are attacked. We have lost people. We have lost cities, and we are really trying to make our lives day by day. And then we are facing a lot of difficulties. And then, if anything, if it's not too much, please send us money, or please send us food, or please send us water, or please send us medicines because that's what we really need. We don't know because we are not there. So, what do you guys think? Do you think send, sending one thousand origami cranes mean nothing? Instead, they they should have sent money or food or water or medicine. Or do you feel that that's really one of the way to show the support and everything? There has been a lot of discussions among Japanese people. But I haven't seen any、um, Ukraine people saying that, oh, we appreciate the you know origami cranes. Oh, we appreciate, but if you can give us the water, or food, or medicine, that would be much better. So I just want to share with you guys about what's going on in Japan. It's really nonsense that they don't talk that thing with people from Ukraine. If anything, they should have talked or discussed or said something with people from Ukraine and saying that look, this is what they want. So let's help Ukraine people in this way. They don't do that. You know, I'm stuck in Japan because of the COVID nineteen for like three years already, and I have started to losing the touch with the sense of what people want from other countries. I I remember before COVID nineteen, I could have actually. Said something or imagined or guessed something much more precise. Because I don't really stay in Japan for too long, and always, you know, connected, interconnected, communicated with people from all over the world. But like nowadays, I I realize I have lost that. So, if you can, if you guys can give me your perspectives on this thing. I would personally appreciate because I really want to know. So for now,、um, <laughs> um, please take care, and I hope to see you in my next video. So for now, Jane, bye bye.